Mike's Daily Podcast. FF episode 934. Hello, it's Mike Matthews broadcasting from Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Podcaster Valley. Today, part two of my three-part interview, into an interview, with Adam Burnett, the lead singer and guitarist of the awesome San Francisco band Danger Maker. Plus, we hear from Adam Rutabaga, Valentino, and Bison Bentley. But today, no Haley. Mike's Daily Podcast. And there is going to be something crazy that happens on this show today, maybe. Mike's Daily Podcast. Quite certainly. Yesterday, I could not do my podcast show because I was working in the afternoon on the radio producing a call-in show that featured a rich guy who sold the website Twitch to Amazon's Jeff Bezos. Jeff has a beautiful, bald, shiny head, and he's a uh, CEO. Mike's Daily Podcast. It was an exciting afternoon, plus the host of the radio show is Drop Dead. Gorgeous. Mike's she has a face for TV. Daily Not radio. Podcast. That's why she's on TV. Yeah. And I'm on radio. It's simple. It's, it all makes sense. Look who just walked in. Hello, Michael Matthews. This is Matt Dab- the way you say that. Und I would like to tell you that... What was that? That was something from the button bar computer system. We call it an array. And I used it on the last show. And I was actually corrected by Haley, who is what, like, less than half my way. More than half my... He's way younger than me. He's way younger than half my age. So... He corrects me that I that I didn't have this at the right volume. Like it, he said, this was too loud. I like the way you say that. And and uh, and no! he said too loud. That's too loud. You got to bring it down. I've been running boards since you were a piece of DNA floating in your mom and dad before your mom and dad did missionary and had you. I was working on boards. And they have not changed in 40 freaking years. Anyway, feels good to get that off my chest. Thank you. Um, But it's it's, it's always nice to get a little bit of feedback. No matter who says it and how young they are. Michael Matthew, I think that you are jealous of his youth. Maybe. Are you jealous of my youth? Michael Matthew, I will never die. I am immortal. I don't give a hoot. A hoot? Uh, Excellent. And look who else just walked in. Hello there, Mike. This is Valentino the back here. Ding, ding. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? Mike, don't talk about my beautiful Haley like that. She's beautiful, and I love her so much. Day. Yeah, she's beautiful. Do you know that? You guys, you know, Haley's switched genders about eight times since the show's been going on. Crazy. Yeah, that's strange. That's not even funny. But who who was that? Just the president. You know, we don't have any Pope drops. Pope drop. Use new Pope drops. They get your sin out of your eye. I can't believe. What the hell is this place anyway? Um... They make you angry if you're a total capitalist that doesn't believe in helping out anyone less fortunate than you. They, I don't know. That's pretty much all I have today. It's kind of weird when you have a a co-host for a while and then suddenly they're gone. It's strange. You're like all alone. Sort of like that scene in the Tenacious D Pick of Destiny and the uh, Jables is trying to perform one of the songs that he usually does with Jack Black. And all he does is the backup vocals. Michael Matthew, none of us have seen that movie. It's true. Nobody has seen that. It's a hilarious one. The pack of Destiny, y'all. The guy that sold uh, Twitch, by the way, this gamer website that allows you to watch other people playing games. And I even had this conversation with with the host of the show, the the, the woman that, that hosted the show. She said to me, I don't understand why people are into watching people play games. And I said, well, millennials dig that sort of thing. I guess it's sort of like when 
we were kids and we were at the arcade and we're watching over someone's shoulder as they get up into the upper, upper levels of whatever game. Pac-Man, for example, they'd clear a maze and there would be all of a sudden this really cool little uh, cartoon that involved Pac-Man and the ghost running across the screen. And, and then there was the game Dragon's Lair that had the cartoon and somebody would get all the way through the entire DVD it was basically a DVD that was turned into a game. You would have this little joystick, and you'd see your cartoon character, because it was all animated by uh, Don Bluth, who did like uh, America's Tale and other cartoons in the late '80s, early '90s. And you would, and and, and you, you'd sit there watching somebody doing it because they were really good, and they got all the way to the end. And I think it involved something like you got into the dragon's lair. You slayed the dragon, but there was a big fight. And then once the dragon was slayed, the beautiful princess who's being held captive in a giant sphere, the sphere breaks, and she is released, and she is free. Mike, I hope that Haley is free and that I am able to whisk her off into a foreign land day. Yeah, foreign land! Can I come too? Uh, just for me and Haley. I'm mad! Do you know that... And now we tell you about the website, mikesdailypodcast.com, which you can go to to listen to the show. We are on YouTube, iTunes, SoundCloud, TuneIn, Stitcher, Podomatic, MixCloud. And you can comment and rate uh, the show, rank the show in all those places. And that helps more people find out about us and we don't languish in obscurity. And there's also the link to, speaking of Jeff Bezos, Amazon. Uh, you can go to that Amazon link, and we get a little bit of money if you do that, if you go through the link at MikeSaleyPodcast.com, which Haley was disagreeing with me many times uh, this past week about how you cannot get to that website. I don't know what uh, Haley was saying. But at any rate, you can get to... If you click on it, it helps us out somehow. There's also the PayPal if you'd like to help contribute to the Mike Staley Podcast, become a Inglorious Mike's Daily Podcaster and all the cafe characters will send you an MP3 wishing you a happy day. A happy greeting. That's not, that's a great enticement, isn't it? And there's also the blog, The Daily Podcast Picture and all my past interviews you can find at mikesdailypodcast.com And now, let's get into part two of my Into an Interview with Adam Burnett of Danger Maker. Into Interview. I'm speaking with Adam Burnett, Danger Maker, the lead singer, guitarist guy, form f- the for- founder. Are you the flounder of the band? Did you flounder? Fla- I'm I'm the flounder. That's true. <laughs> and yes, I want to know about the making of Light in the Dark to your three track EP. What how what was the process? Did you do it with a special producer or what, how did it go? How did it go? Um, well, I mean, our process is kind of, um, I'll bring in song ideas to the band first and foremost, and uh, we spend a while kind of throwing them around back and forth, coming up with ideas, etc., arranging it, and when we feel that we've gotten where we want to go with it, um, then we'll go into a studio and uh, the last, these last two EPs, we've worked with Aaron Hellum, who's oh. a producer in Oakland. Ah. Oh. Yeah, he has a studio there. Um, so, yeah, he, he's great at his style, I think, complements uh, the bigger sound that we're going for. Um, and he, he's not afraid to give, you know, give his feedback. And it, it's been a good relationship with him. Yeah, I, I really like yeah. th- what he's doing with the sounds and yes. everything and mixing it together in a beautiful tapestry of a wall of wonderful Danger Maker noise. Yes. M- good noise. He's good at that, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then, so we were talking last time about Disappear and about the Tom Sawyer keyboard, which is actually your guitar. You're doing all yes. kinds of cool effects with pedals and whatnot. And then there's the ELP keys that I kind of hear in the background of it. <laughs> yes. Emerson Lincoln Palmer. <laughs> those, are, those are keyboards. Yeah, that's true. And then also kind of like a edge 
sort of I keep going back to the edge I don't know why maybe because I kind of look like him it's <laughs> is it the hair it is it is wait I, the, the fact that he and I don't have it <laughs> don't have any hair. Well, I don't I don't, actually, he always wears a little hat now, so I, I don't really know if he has hair or not. That's me. I wear a hat all the time now because my head gets okay. cold because I'm bald. There but, you go. But, yeah, anyway, it, it, tell me about the making of Disappear and and where did the song uh, inspiration come from? Uh, disappear, let's see. Um, yeah, kind of some, some unconventional sounds in there for us that, that I think just came out of recording things and layering and and you know i mean that that big tom sawyer sound you're talking about i think i i was fooling around with a, a bass pedal running my guitar through some bass stuff and and then that came out and you know you're not supposed to do that but it just sounded kind of cool so we stuck it on the album <laughs> that's that, about that's how that happened yeah um yeah uh, it works. Otherwise, though, kind of what the song's about and that, I, I, honestly, I think lyrically it, it kind of came out of uh, living in a, a city that's rapidly changed so much as this one has, like we were talking about before. Yeah. Just kind of feeling a little out of place, uh, you know, like, like you're from another time. Mm. Yeah, with all these people... Maybe. That, that are showing up because of Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> more or less, <laughs> something like that. And other, and you know, it's not it's not all one hundred percent bad. It's just it's it's that thing you go through where you kind of yeah, I, I don't know. You can remember where you live uh, from a previous time, and it's it's just different, and people don't understand it anymore. You know. I have visited so. San Francisco many times by myself and have just felt, you know, I, I like love the city, but then sometimes I'm just sort of like so lost and I feel so just like, like I don't belong here. It's weird, but I love it at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what it's, I, I think that's kind of what it is these days. It's a little of both and it's a little confusing, you know, because um, San Francisco has always been a place that welcomes anyone for any reason you know you can come here and do whatever you want and that's what's great about it that's what i love about it and there's still like that spirit is here but it's it's just so expensive and hard to make it that it's actually hard to to do that for some people so i don't know let's see what happens and then you get on bart to go back to podcaster valley and the people, nobody, <laughs> nobody talks to each other. Nobody looks at each other. Everybody's like grumpy because they're like on Bart and they're. Are they? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Has Bart ever not been that way? <laughs> I don't know if that's changed. I guess that's the same. So I disappear into Bart, and I and I feel like I disappear. Oh. <laughs> nice. But, Nice segue, I like that. Uh, oh, yeah, so we were segueing. That's so, nice. Danger Maker and Disappear, <laughs> as I put on my radio announcer voice. A- Adam Burnett, great song here. Let's give it a listen here on Mike's Daily Podcast. Great.
Yay! Danger Maker! Adam Burnett, we will have the finale of my Into an Interview next show as we go outside a cafe anyway. We're bringing you Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcaster Valley. And here's today's podcast picture. And the podcast picture is a beautiful sunset that was happening in West Oakland. I was facing towards San Francisco as the sun was setting from West Oakland. You can see all the, uh, what do they call them? The at at the at walkers. Or they're actually cargo uh, picker upper things that take the big loads off the ships. But that was the inspiration for the at at walkers from The Empire Strikes Back. Uh, George Lucas was inspired by those, supposedly. And, uh, oh, yeah, where'd that thing go? Aha. Yeah, that is the the view that you see in the podcast picture, Beautiful Sunset in West Oakland. See it now at mikesdailypodcast.com. Oh, I'm really excited because coming up very soon on the show, we're going to have a singer-songwriter from Seattle named Ren. W-R-E-N And that's going to be neat talking to her And playing some of her music Speaking of Washington And I believe it was the Seattle area That's where the horrible accident took place Where some uh, exchange students, I think Or they were students studying from abroad Were killed by a huge One of those, uh, what do they call them? Duck trucks Amphibious land sea vehicles that they use as like uh, tour boats you see them all over san francisco and this story jumped out at me because i'm like what whenever i see those trucks drive by first off they're huge they're like way bigger than any of the lanes that they're supposed to be driving in and the guys driving them are also giving a tour as they're driving them so they're highly distracted they've got this little head mic thing Now, as of this moment that this is being recorded, the reason for the collision that what happened, whose fault it was, hasn't been uh, revealed, but it seems pretty obvious. I mean, the guy, they're, they're so distracted. The ones that I've seen. I don't know how they do it in Washington, but the ones I've seen, it's one guy driving the whole thing and managing the whole thing. It's ridiculous. So there, there, there should be a, a change. And wasn't there something, like a couple of years yeah like in new york one of those things sunk jeez i would never ride in one of those it's crazy crazy stuff wild stuff now i'm do now i'm becoming johnny carson i hate that that's something that happens when you get older you become johnny carson he was a great guy but this is now the end of the show. Oh, and then also we had in in washington the uh, head of china was there and he met with like Jeff Bezos and his beautiful bald head and some other big names Bill Gates and whatnot in the world of the internet Facebook wasn't there though or or Twitter and that's pretty much what's this do oh okay that's uh, we're done Good. All right. Next show is the finale of my intern interview with the wonderful Adam Burnett of Danger Maker. And we will hear from Shelley Shuhart, Floyd the Floorman, and John Deere the Engineer. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.